Hello, my name is Gail Morton. And today I'm going to show you how to use CQ Researcher to help form your ideas for a research topic. I'm going to start by going to libraries.mercer.edu. Now I know the database I want, so I'm going to go right to databases. And it's, again, it's called CQ Researcher. Okay, this gives me all the databases that start with the letter C. I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. This is just towards the bottom. Here it is. This is a really great um, database to help you form ideas. It's not peer-reviewed, but it does have some good charts and graphs, and it gives you a chronology of a certain issue. So I'm going to look up. Here's one. Here's one. Um, you can look up COVID-19 in prisons. Let's just see how this Okay, and it, it gave us these topics here. These are other topics that it suggests to. I'm going to go with the um, systemic racism. Okay, and here you have a, um, an introduction of what it is, a little definition of what it is. Okay. And I want to draw your attention over here. So we're at the introduction, but I'm going to give. I want, to, I want you to draw your attention right at this pro and con. It gives you two different views on this question right here: Are street protests the best way to bring about racial equality? So you have two people. Here is Sept Hunter, and he is from Black-led organizing power building community, and you have Catherine Gorka, who's con. And she says, and she is the director for civil society and American dialogue. Neither of them are professors, and neither of these, of these two opinions are peer reviewed. What they are is, it may help you to see both sides of an issue and then help form an idea. The other thing I want to point out to you is here is a chronology of systemic racism, and it goes all the way back, 1619. And you can read different points in here. It's really kind of good. Give you a nice little history there. And here's some maps and graphs. And I really like this feature. You can use this in your papers because these are facts. Okay. That's a short description here. You can click on here and get a long description. These are your sources. And make sure you pay attention to that. You need to say where you got this information from. Okay. But here you have some nice charts and graphs to help with your research ideas. Okay? And this is how you would use CQ Researcher to help form your ideas about a topic.